Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Natasha Camille and today I'm going to be showing my super simple wash and go routine using the Demon brush and this multicultural curl styling product by Miss Jessie's. I'll also be showing how I diffuse and refresh it each morning to keep my curls looking moisturized and defined but still really big and fluffy how I like it. This routine gives me a lot of definition and volume because this lightweight cream doesn't weigh my hair down, which also allows me to last up to seven days between washes. I used to really only finger coil my hair, but that can be super time consuming and the Denman brush gives me very similar results in just a fraction of the time. So I wanted to start off by showing my natural air dried hair with no product in it just to be transparent and show the difference that this styling method really makes in my curl pattern. Usually I would just do this routine right out of the shower since my hair would already be soaking wet but since I let it dry first to show you my natural hair I'm just going to re-wet my hair using my continuous spray bottle, detangle it, and then go ahead and apply the cream. I start off one section at a time and move my way up to make sure that all of my layers get that hair product in it and don't weigh each other down. I only apply a little bit of the cream to each section because a little goes a long way and since I also use it every morning to refresh my hair, I try not to use too much on the very first day. There's a few tips I like to follow to make sure I get the best results from the Denman brush. First, I comb through the section to detangle it and ensure that the product is evenly distributed to all of my hair. Now to actually style it, I take small sections and make sure that I'm combing it up and away from my scalp to allow each curl in my layers to sit on top of each other rather than be stuck together. Also, I find I get the best definition when I place my finger next to the brush and hold my hair flat against the bristles. It's kind of like when you're wrapping presents and you use scissors to add curls to a ribbon. It's pretty much that same motion just to add curls to your hair. If you notice, I don't apply cream directly to my roots because keeping the hair around my scalp product free gives it a lot more volume and it helps my hair last longer between wash days since there's nothing weighing it down. Plus it's healthier for your scalp. So I comb through several small pieces on each side of my head before moving up and doing the middle section next. Again, I start off by combing the whole section to distribute the product, then I separate it and comb the styler through one piece at a time. I like to finger coil the curls around the side of my face just to make them perfect because they're the most noticeable when my hair finishes drying. And then this is a direct comparison of my hair damp versus styled with the Demon brush. Then I just do the same thing on the other side, making sure to add water first because styling products tend to work a lot better on wet hair versus just damp or dry hair. The last section is the top of my head and I start with my bangs by combing the hair down, curling the brush inwards at the end, and then scrunching it to my roots to further promote a curl pattern. I brush all of the sections at the top of my head forwards so that my hair dries with a lot of volume on the top to give it that round shape. Lastly, I just do a lot of scrunching before I go in with my diffuser to help my curls dry perfectly. Most of the time I air dry, but when I want extra definition or just want to speed up the process, I use this Chi blow dryer and attach the diffuser onto the end. Then I go in and dry my hair in upwards motions, making sure to start drying from the ends and then flipping my hair sideways and forward to get all of my curls dry. Once it's about 75% done, so like still a little bit damp, I just look through my fro to find little curl clusters like this one, and I gently separate it into more curls to again add to that volume. So 
so this is my hair the next day once it's 100% dry and since it has a lot of definition and not much frizz it's not super big but it does still look neat as the days go on and I continue to sleep on it and pick it out and refresh it my hair tends to get much bigger until eventually it turns into this big fluffy afro which is usually by day four or five after washing it now lastly, I just wanted to show how I actually refresh my hair in the morning after it's gotten frizzy. So I sleep with it up in a ponytail or a pineapple on the top of my head using this spiral-like band, mostly known as the Invisibobble, because it prevents my hair from creasing like it normally would with regular rubber bands, and this just makes my hair a lot easier to refresh in the morning. So I shake my roots out and then spray a little bit of mist on the frizziest sections of my hair, which is usually my bangs, the sides, or the back of my hair, just because that's what touches my pillow when I sleep. I usually always redo my bangs first and take the same styling cream and Denman brush to redefine and moisturize it. Then I do the same to any other frizzy section around my face, again only focusing on the ends. I don't really mind frizzy hair towards the center of my hair. I honestly actually prefer it because it just adds to my big volume. And really the main thing that you wanna focus on when refreshing your hair is just fixing those pieces on the end, around your face, and up at the crown of your head just because those are the pieces that are most noticeable. So I just redo as many frizzy pieces as I can and do a lot of scrunching and then after I refresh it, my hair is usually dry by like 15 or 20 minutes. So I always let it air dry instead of diffusing every day because I don't wanna to put too much heat on my hair from a blow dryer. This is day seven hair, so it's been a whole week now since I first did my wash and go, and I really think this Demon brush and Miss Jessie's combo is the reason my hair can last so long and still look, you know, presentable. So you should definitely give it a try if you're looking for a fast, simple, and lightweight routine when you can just quickly style it and then not have to worry about it getting messy or greasy for several days. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I made sure to put the links to all of the products used to this video down in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.